Hey guys, so this is a quick video to show you uh, how to adjust the clutch pedal in a 2013 BRZ or FRS. Uh, this is based on a write-up at FT86 Club by uh, Koji Online. So what you're going to need, I'm, I'm here upside down on my footwell as we speak, what you're going to need is a 14 millimeter open wrench and a shorty 12 millimeter and then you're also going to want um, I like to use a, a clear ruler. Okay, so what you see here, this is the clutch pedal, and it goes up, and it's on a cam that connects it over here, and this is where the clutch actuates, okay? This saddle, on the back side of this saddle, there's a 12 millimeter nut. So you're gonna wanna get your, uh, your shorty 12 millimeter wrench in here, okay, and turn it that way to loosen it. Okay, once that's loosened, then you can spin. If you depress the clutch pedal just a little bit with one hand or with your head, um, then you can spin that rod and you want to spin that rod a little bit through the saddle, okay, so that it sticks out more. Um, and to get the level right, this is where the, the clear ruler comes in handy. Sorry for the shaky video, it's kind of hard upside down. Um, I like to put the ruler here on the pedals, and if I hold it flat on the brake pedal like that, it's hard to tell, but there's a slight gap in between it and the clutch pedal now. Um, and sorry about that noise, I just got a text message. Anyway, so there's a small gap right there, so that's what you, that's where you want it. Once you get it to that point, then go back up there, tighten it, tighten the nut back there with your 12 millimeter by turning this way okay uh, the next step there's a sensor right here and so if you've just done that what it'll look like is like that the little pin will be protruding from the sensor and you want it to look like that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your 14 millimeter put it on this nut and loosen that nut and then with your hand there's a nut back here you're gonna want to loosen that nut as well um, and then what I do is by pulling up, let's see here, pulling up on the clutch pedal a little bit, I use my other hand and push on this sensor, okay? Push it until there's no gap. It's, it's spring-loaded because of that pin, but you'll get an idea of where to put the nut. Um, and so then I just tighten the nut up until it's at that point and uh, make sure that that the clutch pedal isn't actually pushing against the threaded part of the sensor at all. Um, tighten that nut up. If you just tighten up, you can tighten up the back nut to get it at the right level and then lock in the front nut um, and you should be good. Be sure that travel is good on that and be sure that that nut back there is tight. And then uh, you just follow Koji's instructions which are, oh, sorry, it's a little cramped in there. So basically you get in, you start the car, and uh, without giving it throttle, you release the clutch just a little bit, let it roll forward. And uh, if it does that without grinding, um, then you, you go forward a little bit, stop immediately, and put it into reverse, and then roll back a little bit and again you don't want any grinding um, and if that's done properly then take it around the block uh, try it out a couple times see if you like where you uh, adjusted the clutch and uh, and now that you know how to do it you can fiddle with that level a little bit like I said what Koji recommends is just a little bit below the brake pedal level which is what I have it set at and I really like it um, yeah so whoop. The video is upside down. Sorry about that. It uh, auto flipped while I was under there. Um, any questions, just check out the thread on FT86 Club. Uh, thanks a lot.